afternoon, I'm Alex and you are watching Ready, Steady, Craft. Today we're going to be looking at a range Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there you are. And you are very, very late. Sorry, Alex, you know I can't run very fast. <laughs> it's all right, Sal, don't worry, just don't be late again. I won't. What's the plan today, Alex? Well, Sal, today we're going to be showing everybody how to create art and craft using some recycled objects. What kind of objects can be recycled, Alex? Well, most items can be recycled into your local recycling bins. You may have noticed the different coloured bins in your garden. Yeah. Well, they're used for items like glass, plastic bottles, cardboard, paper, and a range of other things that can be melted down and reused. Oh, wow. Can we recycle too, Alex? Of course you can, Sal. Anybody can recycle, and we'll make sure that all of the items at the end of this episode are recycled too. So what are we making today, Alex? Well, I thought that it would be very interesting to introduce everybody to filmmaking. What do you mean, Alex? Well, we can use a range of different materials to make a moving image or film. For example, many people like to use cameras, but what we're going to be doing is some stop motion animation. Why don't you go and find a bit about that, Sal? Of course. Stop motion animation began in the late 1800s. Stop motion is made by people taking pictures of an item, moving the item, and taking another photo, again and again. When you look at all these photos put together, it makes it look like an item is moving. Today, people use clay, puppets, and paper to create a stop motion. One of the most well-known stop motion animation is Morph. Morph is a little clay character that was made for a children's television show. Morph would have one minute on the show so interacting with the host. Sometimes he would have his own little skit. An example of this would be him baking a cake. Now, stop motion is loved by all and fun for everyone to enjoy. Wow, Sal. Who would have known that some filmmaking was originally made using paper? Why don't we have a little go at making one ourselves? What do we need to use? Well, we'll need some post-it papers. Yeah. A black pen. Yeah. Coloured pens or pencils. Yeah. And some glue. Oh, look. I've got them all right here. Brilliant, Sal. Right. Let's start off with an idea. Hmm. What about a, a balloon flying through the sky? Yes, that sounds like a very good idea. So what we do, Sal, is we draw the picture on the first post-it note of a balloon, maybe a little bird, and you change it every single time. Here's one I made earlier. So you draw the picture on the first one and you change each picture. So when you're flicking it through, it really looks like the balloon is flying through the sky. It looks like it's really moving. Yep, just keep drawing pictures until your story is finished. That looks amazing, Alex. You're so clever. <laughs> well, Sal, now everybody at home can do this too. I can't wait to see what all of you will be able to do. There are other ways of doing stop motion animation too, Sal. Some people use clay and play it out to make their characters come to life. Moving the arms of the characters ever so slowly, taking pictures with their phone, can really make it look like that character is moving. And some may use people to make their story too. I made a little example before. Would you like to see? Oh yes, I sure do. Great. So what you do is you take the picture on the phone, keep pressing that button down, and then you swipe through. It really looks like we'll be dancing. A step-by-step -step guide to this will be on our website for you all to follow at home. And be sure to ask for help by a parent or guardian. And once we finish, we can't forget to... Recycle, of course. How could we forget? In fact, we'd be researching recycling in more detail, haven't we, Alex? Oh, we sure have, Sal. We've been doing loads of research. And does everyone at home want to hear a fun fact? Did you know recycling plays a huge part in our lives and the world around us? Each year, two million tonnes worth of recyclable waste is wasted. And that's the same as about 37,000 elephants. I know, Sal. Recycling helps reduce pollution by waste, and the more stuff you recycle, the more you're helping the world out. What items can be recycled? Well, Sal, there are plenty of items that can be recycled. We've got some milk jugs, some sugar ice cream, glass bottles, steel cans, coffee cups, and even cardboard boxes. If you have any of these items that you don't need, just pop them in a recycling bin. Do you remember which bin plastic goes in, Sal? Yes, the blue one. Well done. It might be a little bit different for you guys at home. How about this glue stick? Hmm, 
I don't know. Unfortunately, this item doesn't have a recycling logo on the back as most items do. So it'll have to be put in the bin. Always be sure to check for a green recycling logo before binning anything though. What bin do you put paper in? Is it the recycling? Yes, you're right. There is a place for everything we use. So never forget to clean up after yourself. I've had such a great afternoon. How about you, Sal? I've very much enjoyed learning about making stories so visual. I'd love to see some more. If you want to see some more, why don't we ask these wonderful people here if they'd like to see their work on TV? Of course, who better to ask? Each week we'll have some of your own work put on this wall. We've already had two talented people send us their handprint animals. Well done, Oliver and Dan! But Alex, how did they send them to us? Well, Sal, they can follow. Well, Sal, they can follow the red button on the controller to take them to our website. We have a lot of fun and crafty activities on there for you all to use. From quiz of the week to sending in your birthday cards. Why not follow the page down to upload some of your work? You can also enjoy colouring in some of our funky art pages. We can't wait to see some of your work. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. But I'm sure we'll see you all again soon. We look forward to seeing what you have to show us. And don't forget to... Keep crafty! crafty.